Shepard, our top story this morning, the incredible scene inside and outside the State House in Nashville, Tennessee, as lawmakers there move to expel two of their own. Now, former legislators Justin Jones and Justin Pearson, who were expelled Thursday for their roles in a gun control protest that followed last week's Covenant school shooting. Gloria Johnson narrowly avoided the same fate, and she has an idea why. I think it's pretty clear I'm a six-year-old white woman, and they are two young black men. I, I, in listening to the questions and the way they were questioned and the way they were talked to, um, I was talked down to as a woman, mansplained to, but it was completely different from the questioning that they got. Well, Pearson and Jones's names and pictures have already been removed from the Tennessee General Assembly website, and both of them spoke defiantly about the vote last night. They passed resolutions to expel their colleagues. Yeah. yeah. And they think that the issue's over. Yeah. We'll see you on Monday. They have a terrible miscalculation. Yeah. Yeah. They've looked at a historicity that says that if you get rid of the rabble rouser, well, uh -huh. well, then you will set yourself free from the issues for which the rabble rousers were speaking. Well, this vote is being met with criticism both within Tennessee and even from the White House. But the head of the Tennessee Republican Caucus says the move wasn't made in a vacuum and was what the majority of lawmakers wanted. The heartbeat of this caucus says, not on this House floor, not this way. So if there was an idea of sending it to the ethics group, this group, my caucus, which is the supermajority, there's 75 of us, said, no, that is not, we don't want to go the ethics route. We don't want them censured. We want them expelled. National correspondent Stephanie Sandoval has more now from Nashville. Stephanie. Yeah, good morning. It was a busy, long day at the Tennessee State Capitol as the House of Representatives voted to expel two out of the three Democratic lawmakers that led a protest on the House floor last week demanding stricter gun laws on behalf of protesters that were there. Protesters have been calling them the Tennessee Three, and yesterday dozens of protesters came out to stand with them as lawmakers were voting one by one on whether or not to expel them. Uh, dozens of Protesters were standing right outside the House uh, floor chamber, uh, chanting, cheering, and booing when lawmakers uh, spoke out in favor of expulsion. Uh, Justin Jones was one of the first lawmakers to be expelled. Uh, he was questioned for hours. Here's what he had to say. That a week after a mass shooting plagued our community, the most direct action this legislative body takes, or should I say my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are taking, is to expel us for speaking about the issues of weapons of war on our streets. We called for you all to ban assault weapons, and you respond with an assault on democracy. And also yesterday, lawmakers debated several bills concerning school safety, uh, but none about guns like protesters have been asking them to do. Democrats say that those bills don't really address a real problem, while Republicans say that it's the best first step that they can take. Back to you.